Hi, everybody. Um, we're here for your 30-minute advanced Pilates session. Even though it's shorter, we're still going to pack a lot in. So uh, get your equipment. The equipment we're going to use today is a, a yoga brick or a Pilates brick. Um, if you don't have one of these, a paperback book is a good sub substitute. We'll also use a loop, so a thick loop. Um, if you don't have one but you do have a resistance band, you can always kind of do double loop with your resistance band and just tie it off. That also works. You can kind of create your own loop. But we're going to start without any equipment. Start standing at the end of your mat, checking that your feet are parallel and hip width apart, that you don't have one toe slightly in front of the other, that one foot slightly in front of the other. Start lengthening through the crown of the head, start engaging the abdominals, drawing the abdominals in, relaxing your shoulders away from the ears, and then take a deep breath in as you reach your arms up. And exhale as you lift up into your balance, bending your ribs towards your hips, lengthening through the crown of the head, and then reach your arms out to the side as you lower your heels down to the mat. Drop your chin, round your spine, and roll yourself all the way down, hanging over your legs. Just letting the weight of that head really draw down towards the floor and nod your head yes, and shake your head no. Good. Bend your knees, round the spine, take your hands to the mat, breathe out as you walk forward into your plank. Holding your high plank, or lift the head, slide the shoulders down the back, zip the core in, and bend your elbows. Keep the elbows in tight to the side of the ribcage. Exhale, press them out away. So we're going to do six push-ups. If you need to modify by dropping the knees down, I'd rather have the knees down and the head, shoulders, and hips all coming down in one line than completely losing the form in a high push-up. So just see if you feel like you can control the high push-up. If not, don't hesitate to dial it back. Stay there for three more. And two. Last one, holding your high plank, round out your lower back slightly, just hang here for four, three, two, and one. Lift your hips up, press into your heels, hold your down facing dog stretch, and then walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees, run the spine, and roll yourself all the way back up, shoulders and head up last. Now lace the fingers behind your back, lift your arms, lift your chest, look to the ceiling, Big inhale, and then as you exhale, hinge yourself forward, chest dropping down to the knees, let the arms drop away from the body, and again, nod your head, just relaxing the neck, and then just hang, exhale, let the hands drop down to the mat, bend your knees, walk forward, back up into your second plank variation, lift the head, relax the shoulders, and now I'm going to turn the knee out to the side, reaching the knee towards the, up the shoulder, switch sides, alternate. So right knee to right shoulder, left knee to left shoulder. Stand there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back into your plank. Now drop the knee under the body to the opposite elbow. Knee to the opposite elbow into that chest. Staying here for eight, seven, six, five. Try to lift the head slightly. Look off the end of the mat. Last three. Two and one. Come back to your plank. I'm going to just briefly drop your knees down, stretch your arms, and then inhale. And then as you exhale, come forward down onto your elbows. Lace your fingers together. Step your feet back, coming into a low plank. Lower your hips, lift your head, squeeze the inner thighs together, and we're just going to pedal through the knees. Right knee taps the mat, then the left, tapping right and left. Staying here for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Lift both knees up. I'm going to point your left toe. Lift that left leg up four times, up and down. Three, press your mat away. Two, and one. Tuck the left toes, point the right, up and down. Four, three, two. Make sure the hips aren't piking up so you can drop those hips an inch. Tuck the right toe, left toe points out again, out to the side. Four, up and over, up and back. Three, last two. And one, tuck your left toes, point the right, out to the right for four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center, lower your knees, and sit back, stretching your arms, resting your head. Good. Now change positions, flip onto your back, and pick up your brick. All the way down, lift the knees up to tabletop. And place the brick high between your inner thighs. Try to wrap the knees around the top of your brick. So try not to have the brick between your knees. Try to really hold it in the muscles rather than between your bones. 
We're in a neutral spine, little gap under the lower back, button your ribs towards your hips, lift the pelvic floor, then peel your head and shoulders up off the mat, look towards the brick and stretch your legs long. Add a little turnout, so your heels are touching, but your toes are turned out on big movements through the arms. Breathing in, two, three, four, flip the palms as you breathe out, two, three, four. Squeeze the brick the whole time, get the head and shoulders high up off the mat, and again, big movements with the arms. So the bigger movement with the arms, the more the abdominals have to engage to help stabilize. In through the nose, breathe out through the mouth, breathing in, two, three, four, and out. Now look down towards your abdominals and really draw them down. Try not to let them bulge up or dome. Two more breaths, in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four. Stretch the legs a little longer, squeeze the brick a little tighter, and out, two, three, four. Great, shoulders back, bend your knees, make any little adjustments you need to, but keep that brick between your Thighs. Take your hands behind your head. You're going to breathe out. Peel your shoulders. Stretch your legs back up into a long diagonal. And then lower the legs down. Breathe out. Lift them up. Breathe in. Drop the shoulders. Bend the knees. Exhale. Shoulders high. Legs long. Add your little turnout. Rotating those legs out. We're squeezing the brick. Lower the legs. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. Shoulders down. Bend the knees. Three more. Shoulders high. Chin to chest. Scoop the abdominals. Lower the legs. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Inhale down, last two, shoulders high, legs long, turn up, engage your legs, so engage the quads at the front of the legs by lifting your kneecaps up. Last one, shoulders up, legs long, turn up, lower, lift, and back. Grab your brick, hug your knees into your chest, and rock side to side. Good, break away. Stretch your body out all the way through the middle of your mat. So arms overhead, toes pointing to the wall in front of you. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale. Lift the hands, lift the head. Peel your spine up and stretch forward over your legs. Breathe in, reset your spine into a straight back. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out, round the spine and come halfway back. Hold. And we're going to roll the shoulders back. Lift the chin, lift the chest. Imagine hooks lifting that chest up. Now try to hinge the legs up. Exhale. So you can touch your ankles. Inhale, lower. Now if that's not happening, we just alternate the legs. Do uh, single legs, alternate sides. But if you can, zip the legs together. The tighter those legs are, the easier they are to move together. They work like a plank. Stay there for four. And three. Last two. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. And one, lower the legs back down, lift your arms up next to the ears and resist gravity, slowly coming down to the mat. Inhale, take the arms overhead and exhale, we're gonna sweep the hands around to your sides, coming up into a balance. Click the shoulders back again, lift your chin up. Now we're gonna open the arms out to the side, coming halfway down, then exhale, back up into your V-set. Open the arms out to the side, lower the legs, but don't touch the mat. Exhale, lift back up. Let's aim for four more. Breathing out. Inhale to hold. Exhale to pull back up. Inhale to hold. Exhale to move. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hold. Two more. Breathing out. Inhale to hold. Breathing out to lift back up. Inhale. Last one. Breathing out. And then and with the knees into your chest. Let's just try to lift those toes up to the ceiling. Lift your chest. Shoulders away from the ears. Hold your balance. And then you can take your fingertips up to the ceiling and then slowly lower the legs, lower the upper body, lower the head and the arms with a big breath in. Good. Draw your knees into your chest. Lift the toes up to the ceiling. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat. I'm going to take your hands behind your head. Open your elbows wide. Press your lower back down into the mat and turn towards that left leg with your right shoulder up off the mat. Inhale, change. Exhale, turn to the right leg. So we're working towards perfectly long, straight legs. No movement through the pelvis, just peeling the shoulders up, keeping the elbows really wide. Stay there for six and five. Slow movements. You can really work into each one. Really feel that twist. Strong exhale. Stay there for four, three, two, and I want you to hold the last one, open the elbows a little wider, lift that left shoulder a little higher, get your legs a little straighter, inhale as you change, exhale to hold, again, open the elbows up, get your shoulder up, stretch your legs, one more time, holding each side, twisting to the right, inhale, and then exhale, twist to your left, 
reach. Take the shoulders back, draw the knees in, and just circle your knees around. A couple circles each way. Good. Now just hug your right knee in, extend your left leg out, lift your head, lift your shoulders, chin to your chest, switch the legs. Strong exhale with each knee pull. Stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull both knees in. Now double leg stretch. Both arms and legs reach and tuck. Extend and bend for six. Now if the head starts to get a little heavy, if you feel some strain in the neck, just let that head come down for one rep and then peel it back up, really drawing the chin in, looking towards the abdominals, not to the ceiling. Wait the head forward. Two more, stretch and bend, stretch and hold your last one. Let the head come down, sink your ribs down and lower the arms and legs with an inhale. Exhale, power the arms and legs back up. Feet together, inner thighs touching, inhale, lower the arms, lower the legs, exhale, lift. Two more times, get the rib cage down, control the abdominals. If you feel like your abdominals are really bulging up or popping out, just take the feet a little closer to the body. Last two, and lift, and one, and lift. And then just draw your knees into your chest. Add a little rock side to side. And look to find your loop. So grab the loop, place it around both feet, and right up around both knees. So it's just over your knees. I'm going to drop the feet down to the mat. Press your lower back into the mat and peel your spine slowly all the way up into a nice high shoulder bridge. Once we're there, we just slightly adjust to touch it, tucking the ribs a little bit closer to your hips. Press into your left foot and lift your right knee up, stretching that loop a little bit, pulling that knee in towards your chest. Now you feel that left leg turn on. We're going to work that leg lower and lift down. And up. I'm going to lift your toes on your left foot so you're balancing on that left heel. Right knee stays directly above your right hip. Aim for eight, seven. Let's lift, lift the fingertips up to the ceiling. Five, four, three. Really squeeze that left glute. Two, hold the last one. Little close to the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your right foot. Lift the hips a little higher. Just a little. Uh, Check a little lift between sides, lift your left knee up. Now we start dropping the hips, lifting up, working on the right glute now. Again, let's try to lift your right toes up so you're balancing on your heels. Big exhale with each lift, full range of motion. Hips come down to the mat and then all the way up to the ceiling. Stay there for five and four, three, two. Let's hold the last one up so you can go a little touch higher, little pulses. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your left foot. Now we're going to step your feet out to the edges of your mat and try to turn your toes out. So your feet should be off the edges of the mat. Heels are still on that. We're stretching that loop. Knees nice and wide. Lift your hips up. Narrow the waist. Think pelvic floor lifting up and into the body. Now inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, lift. Down and up. Full range of motion. Stay here for six. And five, four, three, two, hold the next one up. Eight little squeezes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we need to hold the hips high, narrow the waist a little tighter, and pulse the knees out into that loop. Little wraps around to the sidewalls. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Now we're going to do a little combination. Down, up, pulse, pulse. Down, up, wrap the knees around twice. Down, up, pulse, pulse. Four more, lift, pulse, pulse. Really lift the hips as high as you can. Double knees out for two. Down, up, pulse, pulse. Hold the last one. So now lift the hips a little higher again. Knees are wide at the edges of the mat. Now we're going to lift your right hip up. Lift your left hip up. Just pivot that pelvis. Imagine you're poking that hip bone right up to the ceiling. Eight, seven, alternate sides. Six, squeeze the right, squeeze the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now square the hips, hips are pelvis, uh, pelvis parallel to the floor. Breathe in, reach the arms all the way behind you, and then breathe out, melt the spine all the way back down to the mat. Good. 
take your hands back to your sides with a deep breath in. I'm gonna do one more set, but this time on your toes. So heels are up, toes still at the edges of your mat. You should be able to tap your heels with your hands, press your lower back down, scoop the abdominals, lift the pelvic floor, then peel your spine up one vertebra at a time. Nice high bridge, but ribs to hips, walk hands closer to the feet, press the knees out into your loop, and then go down and up. Breathe in and out. Stay here for eight, seven. Really lift, try to get the hips higher than that line between your knees and the shoulders. Narrow the waist, engage the core as well. Last two, hold the last one up, double time, pulse out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, narrow the waist, lift the hips higher, now we combine, down, up, pulse, pulse, down, up, out, and out, eight more, lift, pulse, pulse, seven, if you want to make this a little harder, take your hands up to the ceiling. That's five. Lift out, out, four, three, lift, double pulse, two, out, and out. Last one. Lift, pulse, pulse up, hold. Now right hip up, left hip up, get that hip bone up to the ceiling. Pivot the pelvis, pelvis rocking like a ship. Stay there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one square the hips breathe in reach the arms all the way behind you and then breathe out melt your spine all the way down to the floor hands come back to your sides pull your knees into your chest a little bit of movement side to side and just before we change positions while we're on our back here i want you to lift your knees up to tabletop open those knees up so there's some tension in your loop Keep your rib to hip connection, neutral spine, little gap under the lower back. I'm just gonna lower the right toe down to the mat, lower the left toe down to the mat. Lay your hands across your abdominals, lift your right knee, lift your left knee. Two more times, leading with that right toe, right toe touches, left toe comes down. So just letting those glutes recover while we work our deep abdominals. A little bit of a lighter exercise, it's kind of an active recovery. Lift, now lead with your left toe, left toe leads. Follow with the right, same movement, but just left leg going down first. Left knee coming back up first as well. That's two, left toe, right toe, left knee up, right knee up. One more time, left toe touches, right toe touches, left knee up, right knee up. Now I need to press both knees out. Oh, God, I lost my loop. I'm your loop. So you keep going. Eight and seven. They don't last forever. Six, five, last four, three, two, and one, just pull your knees into your chest. Take that loop up off of your knees, off of the feet and just pop it to the side. And we're gonna lift the toes up to the ceiling, just stretching out your legs. Exhale, so live equipment malfunction there. You saw it, switch the legs. So one leg into the chest, the other leg dropping down. One more time, just pull that right leg in, left leg extends. And then inhale, lift the left leg up, hold the left leg as the right leg extends. Good. Draw your knees into your chest, chin to your chest, and roll yourself up to sitting. Flip over to all fours. Now, conveniently, I have another loop right here. So we're not done yet. So we're gonna pop that to the side for the moment. And we're gonna come on to all fours. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I want you to extend your right arm and left leg, stretch into the fingers, reach the toes, breathe out, round the spine, pull the knee to the chest, pull your elbow in, inhale, stretch back out, exhale, round the spine. Breathe in to reach, breathe out to tuck. Two more, reach and tuck. Now with the last one, we extend and hold. Lift the hand and put a little higher, draw the ribs up into the body, and then reach the hand up out to the side and back to your midline. As far as you can go, out to that side, both the leg and the arm, kicking out in opposite directions for two and back. One more, back to your center line and drop it down, chain sides, left arm, right leg, and breathing out, round the spine, elbow and knee to chest, inhale, straighten, exhale, tuck and reach for two reach last one reach and hold hand and put a little higher draw the ribs up into the body arm leg out to the side back to the midline 
Four more, out and back. Nothing else should move. Three, last two, and back. Hold that last one, lift the hand and put a little higher, and then come back to that center line and drop the hand and the knee down to the mat. Now, I want you to turn your fingertips in slightly so your elbows are pointing out to the side walls, and then just step your knees back. Put your toes together, drop your hips forward. We're gonna lower the chest, head, chest, hips all coming down on one line. Exhale, press the mat away. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Now lift the head. Look off the end of the mat. Lead with that chest. So imagine there's like a yardstick or something, a kind of rod at your back. Just making sure that everything goes down one line. Down and up. Stay there for three. And two. Last one. Extended hold. Slide the shoulders down away from the ears. Tilt the pelvis. Scoop the core in a little tighter. And then drop the elbows halfway down. Hold. Go a little lower and hold. Stay as low as you can. Hold there for four, three, two, one. Press them out of weight. Check your shoulders are down. Lift the head again. Two more times. Let me get a little break for water. Come halfway down and hold. One inch lower. Hold as low as you can. Holding for four, three, two, one. Straight up the arms. Check the shoulders. Inhale. Last time. Halfway down and hold. One inch lower. And then hold as low as you can. We're going to stay here for eight. Seven, just hover just up off the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten up the arms, sit back onto the heels, stretch the arms out. Good. Okay, as you change positions, just quickly grab a sip of water. We're gonna need that loop again in a moment. We're gonna come back to our legs. I want you to come to sitting and get the loop in the same position as it was before. Up around, around both feet, and just above your knees. Flip over to your front, and we're gonna slot that loop under your left knee, and come down onto your elbows. Slide your right leg back, zip the belly button up and away, shoulders down away from the ears, exhale, lift the, the leg up, inhale, lower back down, and lift, lower. Stay there for eight, seven, six, five, really squeezing that glute at the top of the movement, four, keeping the leg long and strong, three, two, hold the last one up. Now point the toe to the ceiling, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Turn the knee out to the side, turn the toes in, circle the knee up and around. Up and around. First four, three, two, and hold. Reverse the circle. Six the other way. Six, five, four, three, two. Try to make it as big as you can. Get that turn out and one. Now extend that right leg. Point the toe to the right corner of the mat, maybe slightly off your mat. Drop the right hip slightly. Press your mat away slightly. Pull your elbows apart and lift the right leg up, leading with your pinky toe. Inhale, toe goes back down to the right corner of the mat. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Stay there. Six, five, and four, three, last two. We're going to hold the last one up. Stretch the leg long, lift it high. Hang there for six, five, so go any higher. Four, three, two, and one. And lower the right knee down. Sit back onto your heels. Quick stretch. And then changing sides. So just slipping that loop under your right knee, extending your left leg back, dropping down to your elbows, but pressing them out away. So make sure you're not sinking into your shoulder blades. Point the toe and lift the leg up and down. Breathe out and, and lift your head up. So we're looking off the end of the mat. Say so this six, five, four, three, Two, and then hold the last one up. Bend the knee, point the toe to the ceiling, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze. Turn the knee out, turn the toes in, circle the knee. Six big circles, up and around, up and around. For three, two, one, reverse the circle. Six, 
five, try to resist, reduce the movement in that right hip. Last three, two, and one. Now extend your toe out to the left corner of the mat. Turn the knee out, shoulders away from you. Lift the head, lift the left leg up and down. Breathe out and in. Stay there, six. And five, press the mat away, slightly pulling your elbows apart like you're trying to rip your mat in two under those arms. Four more. Three, try to keep it slow. Lift, hold, and then resist. Lift, hold, and resist. We're going to hold the last one for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your left knee. Sit back onto your heels. Straight up your arms. Rest your head. And breathe. Drag your hands back, just roll your shoulders out, roll them forward, and we'll change positions once again. Just straighten out your band if it's twisted up at all. So it's flat over your knees. Come back onto your elbows and draw your knees into your chest. Extend your right leg long, pull your left knee into the chest, scoop the abdominals in, button your ribs tight to the hips. Inhale, lower the leg down, exhale, lift. Breathe in. And out. So there's six, five, four, three, two. Heel touches the mat. Each time lift up out of the shoulders. Hold your last one up. Straight to the other side. Right knee in, left leg long. Gather the abdominals in. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Down. Heel to mat. Knee to chest. Six more, lifting up out of the shoulders. And five. Last four. Three, full range of motion. Two. Hold the last one up. Now pull both knees in, take a big breath. Extend both the legs out with your exhale. Circle the legs clockwise all the way around. Inhale at the top, reverse your circles counterclockwise all the way around. Inhale at the top. Four more, reversing direction each time. Strong exhale, inhale to hold. Lift the chest, lengthen the legs. Exhale to circle, inhale to hold. One more time each way, big exhale. Sweeping that legs all the way around. Make the circles as big as you can. Last one, all the way around and up. And then draw your knees into your chest. Come up to sitting. Straighten up your back. And we've got one more upper body exercise, our triceps. Hands under your shoulders, fingertips pointing in towards your hips. Still with that loop around your knees. We're going to bend your elbows, pull them in towards each other, and then extend the arms. Bend and extend. Stay here for six, five, four, three. Each time wrapping those elbows a little closer together behind your back. Hold this last one. Now I'm going to dial it up and lift your hips up. Squeeze your glutes at the core. Bend and extend for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the last one. If you want to dial it up one, one more time, lift the right knee up. Bend it to an extent. Six each side. Five, four, three, two. Hold the last one. Drop the right foot. Lift the hips a little higher. Left knee comes up. Again, six. Down and up. Five, four, Three, two, hold the last one, drop the foot down, and try to swing your hips between your hands. Just ground them there, lift your arms up, pull your right elbow in, lift your chin. Switch the, the arms, left elbow in, again, lift your chin. Good. Now take the loop off of your feet. We're going to do a slightly different hip stretch today. So I want you just to have your legs in a bit of a diamond shape in front of you, and then take your right foot and put it on top of your left knee. So now just put a little bit of pressure on that right knee and just try to lean, just slide your hands towards that, that knee, just inching towards that right corner of the room, opening out that right hip. As much tension, as much kind of pressure as you can, that, that feels reasonable without forcing. Walk your hands back, come back into your diamond shape, then your left foot goes on top of your right knee, just gently ease that knee down, just notice if there's a difference on one side 
walk your hands towards that left corner of the room, leaning towards that left knee, taking a big breath, letting it go, and then come back, uncross the legs, grab your loop, wrap your right foot into your loop, send your right leg long, sink your shoulders, big exhale, just relax in your face. Hold that band high, close to your foot, and then drop the leg out to the side. Extend your left arm out to the left corner of the room as that foot goes out towards the right corner of the room. Look over to that left arm. Inhale to hold, pulling that band, straightening the leg. Exhale, left hand goes up to that foot, passing the band into your left hand as you reach the right arm to the right corner. Look to the right as the leg drops out to the left. Kick that heel away, pull the band. Try to sink your right hip down to the mat as that leg crosses over, and then come back to the center line. Switch the legs, left foot into your loop, right leg extends, sink the shoulders down, the legs straight. Good, just softening the face, maybe climbing a little higher up that loop, getting the hands closer to the feet, then hold the loop in your left hand as the loop drops out to the side, getting your inner thigh stretch. Look to the right, so look in the opposite direction from the foot, right arm reaches to the right corner of the room, inhale, stretch all limbs a little longer, and then exhale, right hand to that foot, left hand goes out, we get our outer thigh stretch, keeping that left hip anchored down, kicking the heel away, pulling that band as we reach the fingertips on that left side. Come back to the midline, drop your band, Feet down to the mat, roll yourself over onto your right side, all the way over to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, come into a nice big cat stretch, and then tuck your toes, hug your knees for a moment up off the mat, just hollow the abdominals, lift the pelvic floor, and then lift all the way up into your downward dog, digging into your heels, battle through the feet, right heel to left and right to left, both heels down, and we walk. Back to the feet, wrap around the back of the leg, nod your head, yes. Shake the head, no. Let the hands hang, bend your knees, and slowly roll yourself back up to standing. Shoulders and head coming up last. If your heels together, squeeze the inner thighs, float the arms up, and then exhale, just holding your balance, ribs to hips, core strong, and then arms out to the side, and swing out. Great, short but sweet. Hope you enjoyed that. We're back tomorrow morning with 45 minutes, tomorrow afternoon with a beginner session for 30 minutes. So check back in. See you soon.